see. So, does he is he able to tell if it's just a simple petrification spell, or is it? It's paralysis. Okay. So Specifically paralysis. Uh, <clears throat> you will need a greater restoration. Well, par- par- paralyzed condition can be cured by lesser. Cool story. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You don't need a roll. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dart. You realize Greater Restoration is a fifth level fucking spell. Crafted God by damn it, Corey. Mary. <laughs> he rolled a 12 on his detect trap. <laughs> 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 he, he didn't see it. You, you Once you lean down, down, get in your face, and slap you right across the face <laughs> and lay a Greater Restoration <laughs> on you. Slap you with healing. Yeah. yeah you... <laughs> Like, right as the slap connects, you feel your body loosen up. Like, oh. You know what? At least you didn't point you did yourself on a, on a disarmed strike. trap. <laughs> yeah. That, that's right. That's right. What was it? At least he didn't poison himself on a disarmed trap. <laughs> like Rand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The worst rogue ever. Uh, yeah. That's super funny. Okay, hey guys, I'm going to play uh, cards. Oh, dropped all my marked cards. Once once that was triggered, though, you notice that the step no longer flips when you step on it. So it has been triggered and it's done. Uh, so you're kind of shit at checking so traps, right? right? I'm not it great. Is, I'm better than nothing not the rest much. of the party. for the Actually... No, you're not. I have a spell for that. Elric's got a higher investigation than I do. Why isn't he start searching for traps? Because that's not what he does. He's not trained for that. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Investigate. I'm going to climb in the barrel and just roll me down the rest of the stairs. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, the no. stairs kind of curl around and then back the same direction. So it's kind of like a, a uh, shift See, over and it, and it continues he parallel. Have his From the path like you were at, a la this right here and there's another door it's not obviously That's it's not like secret from this end no, it's not. because He's got it's only it's there you know so you can push it open and there is the other room that is lower it actually looks like it's from it's coming from the landing that is for the downstairs path uh, this I need to roll, roll to see if I maintain concentration through Back to that. Okay, we're good. This room will actually. Uh, you didn't take any damage. So. Yes, he did. I gave him one point of damage. Oh. I slapped him. Rolls. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. That means you can't fail that roll, so that's <laughs> completely fine. Uh, so, this room is almost identical to the other one. Damaged disc thing, broken tables and stuff. Nothing really of value. Several skeletons here, too. Elric's gonna roll a Arcana check again, see if if there's any like necromantic energy in the air. Okay, that's a that's a good decision. Fifteen. God damn it. There. I can't uh, roll above a ten tonight. There is not. That's good. Uh, any any necromantic sauce floating around here. He's gonna investigate too. These dwarves have natural causes. No, <laughs> no, no, no. How do they get past the trap? They're brand new. There's a door on the other side that leads out to the landing from the stairs. It's a silly trap room. Then. So, Elric got a 29 to... In- well, not, not a 29, excuse me. Where's his investigate? Yeah, it was a 29 to investigate this room, and Elfgar got a 13. Yeah, okay, so there is nothing new uh, to be seen. Uh, it's well cut and designed. There's dust everywhere. Um, there's skeletons dwarves with heavily damaged armor. Do, do I see any clan symbols that are recognizable? You do armor? see some. Um, in this room, there's one frostbeard. Um, you see a couple of iron fists. Um, and so forth and so forth. Yeah. You see a dark hunter, etc. I think I'm going to... St- I'll start collecting symbols. Like just prying off if they're if they're like a medallion or anything. Um, like typically, they are like actually plated into oh, okay. the armor, so it's not really feasible to do that. But it's a nice, uh, nice gesture. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool. Now downstairs or upstairs. Right? Yeah, we're gonna go back up. You go back. What the other door? 
The other door goes back to where we leads to the landing, and then there are stairs up to the entry hall where you were, and then stairs going down to an area that you... It's not relevant right now. Uh, that is not relevant right now. Yeah. So that was useless. It will be relevant later. No, it could have contained something. I mean... <coughs> sure. All right. All right. So yeah, we'll, we'll go back up to Eisenschmitten. Fantastic. <laughs> It's fine. I'm just here. So it'll get fine. So, <laughs> the second level, you, <laughs> you actually you see a label that. as you're walking up onto this landing right here. Um, that kind of labels it as barracks and defenses. Oh, shit. So, it has a lot of potential there. Uh, let's see here. <coughs> there is some slight disrepair up here due to uh, time, and you see a lot of claw marks on the walls and the like, um, but nothing seems to be overly damaged, just like light scratches and a few scorch marks. Uh, further down the hallway there, as you can see, the green areas there are doors mm -hmm. that go into what you can only assume is the barracks area. Uh, now these are all labeled because they have different things in them depending upon what is there. We'll kind of take them as we go. Uh, what would you like to do from here? So since we've been kind of shitty on our checking for traps up to this point, let's we'll not do it. <laughs> let's stop checking. Let's. Just I'm going to cast a spell. <laughs> since I, I did come prepared for this fight. You would recognize that since this is a very commonly used hallway that goes to uh, like living quarters, that it's very likely not a trap. So you're saying I shouldn't expend the fine trap spell? That's entirely up to you. <coughs> I've learned to be paranoid. You <laughs> And rightfully so. Imps, you go first. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Everybody give me perception checks here. Oh, uh, this is important. Um, the ornate double doors block the way to the barracks. The carvings on the doors, once you get over there, um, shows a ring with the crests of each house and the symbol of Arusha emblazoned on the center where where the door opens. Kind of in the middle. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I got a nat 20 on perception. There are sconces. Oh, it's just 20 I, don't have any I got a one. Oh. There, there are sorry. sconces that go along that the uh, western wall. And there's a sconce on either side. Like this side and that side. Uh, and that's it. They are unlit. They seem to have been powered at some point by uh, <laughs> fire attuned technos. But they are not currently active. What are your perception checks? 20. Uh, 20. Dirty 20? Matt 20. Matt 20. Nice. 23. 23. 25. 25. 24. Okay. One. One. <laughs> <laughs> it's an eight total for me, and then. He's really looking at his little mall. 11. He, he saw 11 a shiny rock on the floor. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, cool. Anybody else see this rock? <laughs> right. yeah, it looks like it? me! And you hold it up. You, you <laughs> have seen <laughs> thus far uh, what, is, what has been described. There is also dust here. You see a lot. This area has a lot more dark areas on it. Like there's a lot more blood. Bloodshed. Bloodshed. Look at here. Um, the doorways, again, as described, have a sort of ring with concentric circles on it, uh, showing the crest of each house, and the center is the symbol of Arusha. Uh, it is an older symbol, because this is a very old place, but you do recognize it as the symbol of Arusha. Uh, <coughs> I have this, um, I'll have to update it for what you have done. This is another one of those doors, like you saw in the entry hall. So it can be opened, and as you're going, you're kind of getting information. So any dwarf, anyone with a belt of dwarven kind, uh, or someone with 
a piece of the uh, mall of Abishon. Yeah. Open this door without yeah. any kind of issue. And anyone who is considered a member of the clan. Yes. <coughs> it's all of us. As it turns oh. out, I will have to add that because that's cool. I like that a lot. Uh, that honestly note. was my plan for the end of this mission. I just figured it might be useful earlier. Prior, yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just a dwarf. <laughs> it looks like a bear. <laughs> I'm a dwarf. It looks like a bear. It looks like an orc. Now, which but door? Are you, bear. Are you, are you exhibit? Which door <laughs> do you open first? Remember, Dan, you your topic All right, so I said we open the first door. First door in this hallway. Um, All right. Cool. Let me check the, the note one more time. Ow. Oh, my character flash DVD so commentary. Where, where, since we are in stone, and I mean all of that, where's he really North? Doesn't. Well, oh, really? Yeah, he's that this character of the DVD commentary. Pointing, pointing this way. Uh, the whole thing. Is this way, so... Yeah. Jail is not. We are east. Hmm? You are north. We are east. Yes. So exactly. yeah, first, first door. South. That's why not. And the bathroom is west. 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 What? So yeah, we're, we're gonna because uh, we need to find the who's going first. Easternmost, smallest, dismirrored room. M, should I say you go first? All uh, right. Actually, wait. I'll open the door because it's me. Uh, yeah, I'll go first. Okay. Uh, let's see, this is thirteen. Okay, cool. I'm not facing the door. Damn. There are dwarven <laughs> skeletons. <laughs> You just butt it up and that litter <laughs> the halls. At least a hundred. It's quite a lot. No, that's like across, like across the whole hallway space. Okay. Yeah, not like all lumped up in one space. Yeah, because that would be another one of those creepy. And uh, whatever armor or weapons they had are littered about, most showing heavy signs of disrepair or damage, as you will. Um, a layer of dust covers everything. And as you, uh, because of the pass without a trace, you, you actually, assuming you're within the range of that, you actually yeah. do, do not disturb the dust, uh, which is handy. Mm -hmm. You also see Can't be tracked. faint, uh, there, there are would appear to be areas of like shallower dust, almost like there was some shuffling about uh, at some point in the. This is where they used to dance. Go past. <laughs> <laughs> Dwarves don't dance. <laughs> well, they definitely did some kind of shuffle. That left, left their friends behind. Really the Cupid shuffle really is not funny. considered dancing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Commit to jiggling, y'all. Which are are you going to systematically go through all of the doors and check them all out? Sure. I mean, there's no other way to do this. Is there not? Do you have any information about? Well, you don't know, and you can't tell without necessarily looking at all of the rooms dimensionally which one's going to be the smallest one because based on the note that he got. And he read the note out to you. Mm -hmm. um, you're looking for the smallest, easternmost, dismirrored room. All right. So we should start at least on the east side. Hold on. Let me see if I'm well, east what is I need this one. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. So you, you kind of go through. Um, oh, perfect. So let me just see if this works. If not, oh well. Okay. I'm gonna cast locate object. Yep. Oh, nice. Okay. What is the description of said... Describe or name an object that is familiar to... Oh, fuck. Oh, well, it is kind of because it's one of well, four I pieces. Well, I did legend lore, so I You did, did legend lore, so you know... But you don't know which piece it is you're looking for, necessarily. But it would be it's resembling... Piece of, you know, it's yeah. piece of the mall. Um, it's up to you whether or not that's going to work. You can tell... That it's it within, is within a thousand feet. I can get. I know. I know where it is. Yeah, you can tell that it is further ahead. Um, okay, about fifty feet. Fifty feet straight ahead, or straight ahead, left, right, give or take. Yeah, I'll point it out because reasons. It's in here. It's yeah, it's yes. G. It is in G. That's what I thought. Because it's the smallest 
right, so there are other things. You may get some nice items if you look through other rooms or whatever. So yeah, no, I just want to get this one first. Okay. Uh, but I do want to have Elric it looks small. do one thing for me here. He's going to uh, investigate. Are you going to go ahead of everyone, or is everyone sticking together in this regard? Uh, I'd say we should... Party. Don't split. We should stay together, but... A little bit of distance. Just a little bit. Just in case there's any more darts. <laughs> stagger a little bit. Yeah, stagger. Are you all going to stay within 30 feet of Psy? Yes. Psy, I guess, could be in like the mid. Yeah, I'll, be, I'll hang out in the center. In the center. Okay, that's fair. Do you want to investigate different rooms at the same time? That's splitting the party. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Place your figures where you would like to be. Ulfgar's going to move up here. Yeah, I'm sure. That's about 30 feet. Huh? Pretty, yeah, close to <laughs> the end. Sai, come with me. Yeah, I put Sai right there. That'll work. Where do you want to go? Put me next to Sai. Elbrose. I mean, it doesn't it hurt to have a bar in the middle. That's Elbrose. That's Elbrose. He'll, okay. he'll be up with me. All right. And I'll be watching the back. Very good. Very good. So. Uh, this room is locked. Can we kick it in? Magically locked or? No, it's just a regular lock. Say, can you open the door, please? Every time I think of a bard, I can't help but vision that scene from Road to El Dorado that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or have you, uh, move in a little tighter? Look at that, now 20 and 19. I really okay. like Roll that lovely lock picking thing. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay, cool. It's, uh, Is it yeah. more than 20? Uh, I rolled natural 18. Yes. Then uh, <laughs> it so is picked. You do notice as you're picking it that, that these are very, very well crafted locks and they cannot be forced. You see them Ooh. on that? <laughs> <laughs> my, must my, my side of All right, memory. awesome. Yeah, plus my. This room insane contains in the center of it, it's, it, it's actually mostly empty. You, you can tell that it was once a residence. But it seems to have been emptied of all of its furniture and such. In the center of this room is is an orb. Well, I don't uh, trust this. <laughs> and surrounding it, yeah, duck between your legs and get in the way. are three dwarven skeletons. Or not? Never mind. Uh, Back out. Let's see. the <laughs> The skeletons are are actually lying down in such a way that they form an equilateral triangle around it. Oh, that's just not creepy at all. Elric, El Elric Thanks, once again, will be checking for uh, the dust. Does this dust seem does not cover the orb itself. Illuminati confirmed. Just the <laughs> <laughs> Illuminati. Hey, Calderax, does this seem very necromancery to you? Uh, I think Elric's got that he, one in the bag. He actually speaks. He has turned himself a bit invisible. <laughs> and he, like, speaks right next to you, and it's kind of like. Shit! No! Yeah, insight check the fucking voice. Okay. <laughs> uh, a lot. Nineteen. He does not seem to be lying. Okay, so <laughs> he made I, had, I had Elric either. roll. Uh, uh, he Rick rolled. Um, an Arcana check on this room. Okay. Got a twenty-nine. Twenty-nine is fucking rad. Okay. Roll Eighteen natural. Um, there is a bit of. Um, he 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 doesn't cast detect magic. He just casts like he just he just uses arcana. Sense. There is a bit of um, it's it's obvious that the orb itself is magical. Um, it is not clear as to whether or not the skeletons are. They just appear to be well placed skeletons. Let me check. They do t seem to be wearing uh, old tattered robes. Which hmm, tattered? That's, that's odd for they my might people. have been some kind of clerics or casters or whatever. No, well, dwarves usually don't have sorcerers, wizards, or the like, so they're most likely clerics. <coughs> so I'm gonna hold out the the rod of Athelstan once again. Uh, you do feel a bit of faint and like the next vibration. A couple hours. Uh, like, oh, uh, right and the orb itself also <laughs> like shutters. It's like, well, we came to the right place. I'm going in the room. Okay. Step to the room. Where's your next? 
I'm going to first off uh, the nearest, nearest skeleton and reach down and cast Gentle Repose. Which does what? Which means it cannot be raised from the dead. Okay. Just to make sure. Is that a cantrip? No, it's a level two spell. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, t you touch a corpse or other remains for the duration, okay. which is ten days. Uh, the target is protected from <clears throat> decay and cannot become undead. Cool. Okay. And then what? Just uh, touches all after, the other ones. <laughs> after that, spell ends. I mean, they can be raised. Right. For wait, for how long? Ten days. Oh, nice. Okay, so We're then you... are just going to do that on one for right now. Then you reach down and grab the orb. Yes. Okay. So you grab the orb... And probably Actually, tell before something. I grab it, I'm gonna poke it with the rod. Just, just poke it. Okay. With your sword uh, now, or your axe? It, the rod. It. Okay. It vibrates again. Uh, you pick it up. You have acquired the orb of Apple Schnar. Schnar. And two of the skeletons yeah. that you did uh, not catch gentle repose on. I knew it. Stand up, but not hostily. And they speak to you. Oh. Shit! That was a bad idea. Can you dispel? If nope. you were not a dwarf, they would have attacked. Oh. But you are a dwarf, so you get. And I hold the. Now I hold only two questions, but you get. There's only two pieces missing now, right? Or are we still yeah. missing? We're still missing two pieces. What is your favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> what question? What's your do favorite you have? color? If a tree falls, the forest will never be here. Answer as truthfully as we can. I'll have to not whisper, or the mic won't pick me up. Yeah. Where is the next piece of the rod uh, of the mole of Awful Star? Star. The one that is to your left. It is in the forges. And then it sits back down in the same position it was in. Just no dust on it. Because it got up really like, like clouds of dust. <laughs> it's like horrific. It's gross. I feel really stupid for casting gentle repose. I'm, just, I'm terrified of skeletons. <laughs> I just think they're all going to attack me every time I see them. Can we just uh, bring that guy with us? We can't take them. Yeah. Hey. Huh. Anyway. We get a person of dwarves. Go <laughs> <laughs> rip that symbol right off your fucking neck. Uh, <laughs> I like you, Sly. You amuse me. <laughs> <laughs> that was Shut up, Boneface! <laughs> that was Boneface. <laughs> anyway, so I look at the last one. What is Both the name... Of the make fun of the tiny people. <laughs> what is the name of the denizen who has taken over our home? You... I think you already know that. I think Arusha already told you that. Oh, Arusha did tell me it's that. It's Mammon, it? the Archduke of Greed. That's right. right. Yep. Scratch that question. <laughs> <laughs> I will give you one re-question. No, 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 it takes you back. So you don't, uh. Okay, so... Uh, where where in... Where where in Alphalstyar is the... Is the Archduke? In the vault. Oh, great, he got in. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, if you recall from the history that was given to you by Arusha... They all, uh, because of the, the paranoia that was being sowed by Mammon, they opened the vault so that they could check on their Stuff. their goal, make sure that it wasn't stolen by any other clans. And that's when Mammon struck. That's right. And so he is in the vault. Yep. And then that one, too. I really wish I could end that gentle repose. <laughs> come back. That was a dumb we, move. We wait ten days. You didn't know. <laughs> I know. Ten. And it would have been a very nice question. gesture what is to not have one of my buddies raised. 
as this fucking zombie. But it does actually extend the time by 10 days of how long they can be raised from the dead. It's meant for low level clerics who can't raise yet, who don't oh, have access yeah. to a revivify or anything. Yeah. That lets the it gives it ten extra days for like a resurrection spell. So it doesn't get too far gone. Yeah, that's because you know resurrection only has a ten day time limit. True enough. What's next? Let's go room to room and search. Are you going to search different rooms? It's pretty obvious that whatever monsters or critters were in here we're have dead. long since. I mean, the dust passed. has not been disturbed. Before. No, it so has yeah. not been been disturbed. I, say, for I think a, it's safe for us to split time. up. Okay. All right, go to a different room, and I'll uh, wait. Describe. Before I leave this room, do I see any keys or anything that can open the doors in here? That is a good question. Give me an investigation roll. Investigation. Fucking investigation. <laughs> Yo, Elric's gonna help me with this. Okay. Yo, I'll help I Elric. Work retrain some stuff. You did some stuff. I know, but some different stuff. Oh, no. gotcha. <laughs> Namely, I wish that I would have retrained. Elric got a twenty-seven. Damn. All right. The one that was gentle will repose. <laughs> um, respectfully, of course, searching pockets and stuff in the robes. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a key that you think will, will, will open most of the doors. Skeleton key? Yeah, I'm just going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, rude. All right, cool. But there's only one. So yeah, so. I'm taking it. Cool. You okay. can you can pick locks. Who goes where? I'm going to the next room over. H. I'll go down the other hallway. All right, cool. I'll go over to A. Okay. I'll going go to A. Opposite. Okay. Let's run down this hall. This one. Yeah. Pick me around. Uh, Elric will go to I. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Um, I don't know where Eisenhower's going. You go no, over here. We're wherever you need me. Me. <laughs> uh, you can go to J. Okay, it's not got the hole. Sweet. All right. Imsh. Uh, this door's not locked. Uh, give me a... We will go ahead, because there is a key, for the sake of, of speed purposes. You just toss it down the hall. Uh, <laughs> have it so that all the doors will be unlocked by him prior. We're out of time. We will do one more session, and then we'll take a break. Uh, and then... So, yeah. Later. I've rolled 